Hi, Ulert. What happens? Look at this. Oh, how much time do we have? Five days. That's serious. Let's go. You have to follow this situation for the next five days very closely. Metto Svizzera, buongiorno. Can you give me the forecast for Glarus? The forecasts indicate that uh, there may be heavy rainfall in the area within five days. Okay. And therefore should be considered a possible flooding warning. Thank you very much. The computer screen show warning of the imprints platform and here we have represented an hydrological forecasting uh, which is present in the flash floods module of the European alert system. This advanced module combine uh, basin characteristics which, uh, with uh, probabilistic forecast done by the Cosmolabs. Cosmolabs provides 16 outputs of rainfall forecast in intervals of 3 hours and up to 5 days ahead, with a spatial resolution of 7 kilometers. It is the meteorological base for the flash flood early warning system developed by the Joint Research Center in the framework of imprints. The platform developed within the Imprints project is a tool that processes the different algorithms at the different testbed sites. The platform interface has been designed with the support of experts from several emergency authorities in charge of flood risk management in Europe, coordinated all of them by the French forecasting service, the SHAPI. Floods are one of the main emergencies in Europe and in the rest of the world. Within the European Civil Protection Mechanism, we are facilitating the response of member states and we have to be very quick in that and we have to be very well prepared. So if we have information about upcoming emergencies, for example, flash floods, the earlier we get the information, the better, the better we can target the possible assistance and the better we can help people in need. Thanks to all this information, which is available in a simple and direct way through the Imprints platform, any management centre related with risk of torrential rainfall and their consequences can be aware as soon as the information is provided by the European Forecasting and Monitoring Centres. Well, if tomorrow the forecast reinforces the flooding events, we need to call the crisis meeting to attack the protocol alerts. Did you see the forecast this morning? Yes, I was looking at it and uh, actually it doesn't look uh, very nice. I think that uh, if tomorrow the forecasts are confirmed, we will uh, activate the alert protocol. Okay, thank you, bye. When a flood alert is confirmed, we start producing at the highest rate possible. So we prevent uh, the risk of overflow and we minimize the loss of water. And we also keep the level of the lake constant. For us it is important to have a forecast as accurate as possible so that we can uh, optimize our production as many days before as we can. During the last three days, the warnings were covering three potential European areas where heavy showers could be possible. Now, the forecasts for the next 48 hours can increase the precision and only keep the region around Barcelona as potentially affected area. The emergency services involved are already managing the situation. Based on the information we have received through the imprints platform, we have organized this meeting with the Catalan Water Agency to assess the risk of what can happen within two days and take the appropriate decisions. It 
It seems that the latest forecast confirmed the occurrence of heavy thunderstorms in two days, on October the 10th. That may cause some flash flood in our region. We need inform the Civil Protection Service to start the uh, flood emergency protocol and take the appropriate actions. In the last four days, the forecasts have evolved, decreasing the probability of heavy showers in some of the initially affected areas, while reinforcing others. Now, 24 hours before the expected time in which heavy rains will severely affect the Catalan coast, the emergency services are on alert and doing their best to reduce the associated risks and impacts. The forecasting platform developed in Prince is able to anticipate more than 24 hours in advance an event of heavy rainfalls leading to flash floods. This capability is a major step towards a better management of emergency situations. The tools to provide short-term forecasts up to a few hours in advance are more precise, but the 24 hours ahead forecasts are extremely important since they are providing to the risk managers enough anticipation to allow that they initiate the early warnings and other protocols. During the Imprints project, the flash flood forecasting module developed for the European Flood Awareness System has been able to locate in time and space these important events with at least 24 hours notice. We have been able to forecast uh, two flash floods, one in Slovenia in 2010 and one in Veneto in Italy in 2010, so all more than 24 hours before with this new rainfall uh, forecast. And then there were two other ones in Genoa in Italy in, uh, at the coast in 2011 and another one in Ancona also in Italy in, uh, in 2011. And they all, that, that was extreme rainfall and that was very well predicted by this uh, new indicator that we developed in Imprints. Just five years ago, we didn't have available tools as powerful as those we have now, and forecasting flash floods with some hours in advance was something out of reach. Therefore, a major limitation for the risk management was the reduced time available for organizing the response, which mostly started once the heavy rains have been registered. However, now the new developments allow the emergency services to have a precious anticipation time to take effective actions to mitigate the effects of these harmful phenomena. Forecast produced by Nora for the next hours indicates uh, that heavy rainfall finally will not occur in your region and the probability of uh, flooding events uh, is not relevant. The situation, however, is, is quite complex and we need to keep vigilant, but we recommend that you don't need to keep the warnings. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. The Meteo Swiss short-term forecasting system NORA is a radar-based tool for short-term forecasts of orographic rainfalls up to uh, six hours. And the forecast is based on the evolution of analogous precipitation fields observed in the past in our radar database with similar uh, meteorological conditions. Six hours before the start of the heavy rainfalls over Catalonia, the warnings are activated and the local authorities and the civil protection services are on flooding alert. Everything is prepared to deal with the hydrological emergency. Hey, what's happening? Oh, look what is happening in the radar now and look what we will have from now to 15 hours. How much rain? In the Imprints platform, we have implemented uh, several warnings related to uh, what is going to happen in the next two, between two and six hours. This is a, an extraordinary advance that enables us to transform meteorological information 
to very localized warnings that are very, very useful to any institution that is in charge of providing early warnings for the population. Hi, Director. Before two hours, we are expected to start at torrential rain. Okay. Once the imminent arrival of torrential rains is confirmed, the Emergency Center of Catalonia activates the protocol of alerts and warns the municipalities where the probability of flooding is high, with an anticipation of about two hours before it starts raining. It's very important to have a meteorological radar network and the possibility to use it to provide agro-illusion rainfall forecasting up to two hours ahead. In the last years, the radar network have been the base of outstanding improvements regarding the rainfall measurements and short-term forecast. What is the base of the improvements in the capacity of providing effective warnings and one of the energy management nowadays in Catalonia? In a few minutes, the local police will arrive to seal off roads most at risk of flooding. Firefighters in the areas where there has been heavy rainfall are on full alert and standing by, and the numbers of traffic police have been increased on principal roads. A similar situation happened a few years ago. But at that time, in 2010, we were not warned with enough anticipation and we didn't have time to evacuate the people. From now on, thanks to the improvement in the food early warnings tools, as those developed by Imprints, we are in a measure to react much sooner and take the right actions to minimize the damages and impacts of this kind of emergencies. One of the most relevant contributions of the Imprints project is the development of a full operational platform including the most advanced tools for flash flood forecasting, able to provide from the first early warnings a few days in advance to the accurate high resolution forecasts a few hours in advance. It can also combine the meteorological and hydrological warnings with the available vulnerability maps that allow risk managers to have a dynamic map of the potential risk of flooding, allowing the identification of the areas at risk some hours in advance. Information that is crucial to activate the flooding management protocols, disseminate the warnings and mitigate the impact on our life. Risk associated with uh, uh, events such as uh, floods are on the rise. A good news is shared by the Global Assessment Report on Disaster Risk Reduction 2011 that indicates that globally the risk of mortality due to floods, fresh floods and tropical cyclones is going down. And this is due mainly to effective early warning systems. Talking of early warning, the use of new technology has been an essential asset in order to report on progress. The key to the success is to include people centers early warning systems. Imprints is an excellent illustration of a success story that can impact on society. It's a project which is at the heart of effective science policy interactions. It has a capacity in terms of dissemination to boost knowledge and awareness about new tools that can support policies while at the same time helping uh, operational managers to meet their needs at national and regional levels. Heavy rains are the cause of a major hazard affecting Europe, flooding. Even if damage cannot be totally eliminated, the implementation of the Flood European Directive, the identification of the areas at risk and the development of management plans supported by the implementation of flood early warning systems through Europe are effective measures to minimise the impact of floods. 
These measures are based on the results of several European projects in which a number of scientific and operational institutions have cooperated in developing new technologies to reduce the loss of life and its impact on society and the economy. Our research is a continuous challenge that only makes sense if it can meet the needs of our society, providing a better understanding of the natural phenomena and better tools to manage the associated risks to build a more resilient society. Thank you. 